Okay. Uh, good evening, everybody. Uh, welcome to this special, special uh, live live stream. Uh, it's a pleasure to have everybody. I hope my guests will start to come in shortly as we have this interesting discussion about Nigeria's political uh, <laughs> scenario. All right. Um, Yes, thank you. Uh, Victor is here. Um, uh, Ismaila is here as well. Um, okay. Where well, are they unable to join? I'm trying to add Ismaila. Okay, Victor has joined. Great. Um, let's, let's add him again. So please send a request to join again, um, uh, Ismaila and um, and uh, uh, E. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you for joining. Okay, as we wait for Ismaila and. Uh, uh, and A to send their request to join. I just like to say thank you to everyone that has joined and those of us that are watching from all over the world, the new trials, the undecided, the emilocon, the articulated, the batified, everybody has joined. So we are all friends. Um, I went to Federal Government College of the Bolu and um, uh, there, everybody has grown old, we are getting older. And we are doing all doing different things. And then in our group, different people support different candidates. And it's interesting, no politics, but this gets people to to be so um, in chest should be so let me let me look for the people that are here again and invite um, um, Ismaila to join again. Ismail, please accept, accept my invite to join. Um, I'm waiting for AE. Uh, AE. Okay, Ismail has joined. I'm waiting for Idi Ahmed. I will, I will just ask my. Okay, thank you for joining. I'm waiting for Idi Ahmed to join. And we have another friend of my um, picture that is going to join later in the show. So we. we, we, we People have all kinds of discussions, and I thought it would be interesting to have this discussion openly and, and let people to know that we are all different, and we all support different candidates. That we support different candidates does not mean that we, we should fight, right? I, I believe that whoever wins comes Saturday, uh, I believe that it will be well with us. I think that our friendship, our association, we continue. So I just said, okay, let's have the three candidates, three people that suggest the three candidates. Let them come in. Let them come and tell us why they support their candidates. If, they are, see, if it's still possible that we have undecided out there, people that have not decided who they want to vote for, let them let them say <laughs> who they want, and let them just listen to the position of the batified, the articulated, and the obedient. I will try to be a, an impartial moderator in this discussion. But ultimately, the goal of this discussion is to show that we don't need to fight ourselves. People are fighting themselves over candidates. But we will, people will support different candidates. Even in my family, some people are supporting different candidates. But they are still my family members. I'm not going to throw them away because they are supporting somebody I don't support. So we will just take it um, in alphabetical order. Right, there's no preference now. Uh, I know Victor is supporting. Uh, 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 I will let him introduce himself. Uh, say who is supporting, why he's supporting, and why he thinks his candidate is the best candidate. Oga Victor, uh, please introduce yourself and tell us who you are supporting and why you are supporting him. We are struggling to hear you. Can you come? Can you come closer to your mic or put your phone closer to you or increase your volume? Can you hear me? 
Yes, I can hear you now. I'll mute my mic. Or I'll just keep talking so you can talk. Everybody can hear you. Just go ahead. I can hear you now. Good afternoon, everyone. And good seeing everybody here. Uh, at least I've seen you. It's a pleasure to do, do chat every day, but I've not seen you. You need to speak out, please. Speak louder, Victor. Okay. Speak louder. We're asking the energy where they use type. Where you don't speak. <laughs> <laughs> That's the energy where you use type when you don't speak now. Yes, I can uh -huh. hear you now. Okay, it's nice to see you and uh, more of a uh, Milokan smile. At least finally, I've seen him very long time. I've not seen, seen him. I hope to see Aiden soon. Uh, I told you I got to start with APC because you start to see it. But anyway, we're not afraid. Let me keep on. Let, let me start. Now, my name is Engineer Victor Issa. We went to, all went to Fire Government College of Ecuador. Um, well, I'm not a full-time politician, but any time politics like this come, uh, 2014, 15, 2018, 19, debate, I, I know, I do analyze, and I know who is going to win. I'm not God, I'm, I'm not the final say, but I look at some certain parameters for me to know that, okay, this is a likely candidate with the capacity that can also help the current challenges we are facing in Nigeria. This is a new leader that can fit in into the Nigeria problem we are having right now. Now, a lot of things are being put into consideration. It's not all about, say, okay, ah, oh, I love this guy, interest or personal interest. We also have to look at one major thing, which is national interest, which is very, very important. We need a leader that can come to integrate everybody together, not to come to split the country, not to come to say it's taking side. Someone that can harmonize. Victor, people are struggling to hear you. We are still struggling to hear you. So maybe you should just put your phone, move the can, earpiece, can, and just use Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Loud and clear. Loud and okay. clear. Okay, beautiful. So what I'm trying to say is like, I, I, all these years of election, I've been participating fully. I might be a very silent politician, but at the same time, I have a way I listen to people's view, grassroots view, both the allied, both the stakeholders to ensure that, okay, this is the right candidate that is coming on board. Now, uh, uh, somebody or a group of, or a company very close to the villa, and of, obviously, I was in the PDP then. Um, in 2014, I, even in 2013, I told my colleagues that good luck has the powers, he has the machinery, he has everything. But I'm, what I'm hearing from the grassroots is not too good for him. They said, no, he has the power. Everybody will shout, you know, he has the power, he has the machinery. He has the... I said, it's all about that. They say, he has money, you buy votes, you do that. I said, time has come and the change must come. I was a very good beneficiary of PDP in 2014. I am a Christian, first of all. If I wanted to benefit, I'm, I'm, I'm working directly under good luck. I would say, oh, good luck must win. It's going to be this. But national interest supersede my own personal interest. And obviously what people are feeling. But come 2014, things started changing. People say, see what I was telling them in 2013. It supersedes my personal interest because obviously, if I want good luck to win, I'll even overlook whatever I is going to win because of what I'm going to gain. But it's more than that. People needed change at that point in time, and it came. Now, Buari won. 2019, he struggled to win. I don't want to go into details, but he won. Now, we're coming to 20, uh, 2003 election. I mean, I came back to APC because after PDP, I felt that no, I have to move. I should be. I might not be a political prostitute, but I have my own principles. And it's not that I gain anything in Buhari's government, but I needed to this move. Let's move with what the people, the grassroots, and what will develop the country. Now, in 2023, we are in for another election. I have to leave APC. In fact, some uh, months backwards, I told them that I, I, I changed party. I've collected my membership card of APC. Now, what I want to tell you is, like, before I change base, I asked the question on our forum when they were doing the primaries. I asked the question, I said, if Tinubu clicks the ticket of uh, APC uh, presidential candidate, who is going to be his vice? 
Nobody answered that question to today. I wanted to know. Nobody answered. There and there, I told them that if Atiku wins the ticket, they should prepare themselves because Atiku will be the next president. Why am I saying this? Atiku, look at this as citizen, all, all, all what he has been doing. He has been a vice president, he has been a grassroots politician, he has been tested, he has tested the national level, he has worked with different people all over Nigeria, both tribes, religion, ethnicity, everything. He knows people in all the colonies of this Nigeria. He has invested, he's a businessman. In fact, he has so many qualities to qualify him to be somebody that can bring Nigeria under one umbrella, he understands the language of each of the regions. He knows how to talk to people. Religious bigotry is not part of him. He is a man that embraces people, welcome ideas, listen to people, experience the capacity, the strength mentally. The guy has it. Now, my problem with APC and why I left APC, I can, I can, I can you. I can you a minute. Okay. I can. Why, why I left APC? Sorry, sorry. I, somebody was knocking. Why I left APC again was the reason why. This. I can APC after the end of the day, they decided to choose or Tinubu clean the ticket. Circumstances behind him, how he got the ticket. I don't want to go into that details because I have so many information. We have we had a lot, and I'm very sure you guys know what happened at the primaries. Now, coming back to who is going to be the choice of the GP, they looked around, the party people spoke, and of course, the APC governors all came together. They said, Who is going to be the APC vice president to support Nibu? They come up with Shatima. I didn't believe that they could choose Shatima because I felt that they should be considerate. Now, they came up with Shetima to boldly they announced Shetima. It took them time for them to even announce who the vice would be. I don't want to go into Shetima's details. The role they played, how Boko Haram man was in his was in the in the presidential lodge in Abuja here. The person that bombed uh, one of the churches during the wherever lodge. I can somebody that is wanted by the police be in the presidential lodge and the governor or the governor's lodge in Abuja. He doesn't know. Hard ticket to even fly out of the country. He doesn't know. He claims that he doesn't know what is happening. That is one. Two, how can they go ahead with this kind of country we're in, where you have Christian, you have Muslims, you have uh, Shongo worshippers, shrine worshippers, different worshippers. Obviously, the Christians and Muslims are one of the either the Muslims are the majority or minority, or the Christians are the majority or minority. But at least we have two major religions, which is Christian and Muslim. We are not, for goodness sake, Islamic country. We are not Saudi Arabia. We are not Dubai. Even His Excellency Shagari, former governor governor of Sokoto State, came out to say that. Enough is enough. It can never be done. Even in Ghana, that is our neighbor. Somebody tried Christian, Christian, it didn't work. They need unity. They need harmonization. They need people to feel the presence. We are not Islamic country, for goodness sake. I have to say this because it's not proper. We need to work together. The kind of chaos and problem we're in Nigeria right now, we don't need, we don't need problems where yeah. one side will feel that they supersede the other. We need that unit. We need to work together. We need to have that sense of belonging as brothers and sisters. And that is what our forefathers left for us. It's not for somebody to now come and divide right. the country for us. It's not possible. So I can see your blood is getting hot. You understand? Okay, it's so not possible. You. It's not possible. So, so with this, seeing this, I say it can't work because I can support this kind of thing. It's not ideology. It's not politics. That is not the way to practice politics. For goodness sake, this will over 200 and something million Nigerians. We need somebody that can come and integrate Nigeria. We have been suffering in the hands of Boko Haram security. We can't travel. The country is in chaos. We don't want more problems for us because we want to elect leader. Because of what? I can't, there are so many issues to that. I decided that, no, I cannot belong into this train because I can see there's a problem. National interests supersede personal interests. I might have personal interests, but at the same time, I have to also consider the country. What is the grassroots people saying? Are people happy? 
are these guys actually even practicing the ideology or real politics or bigotry or sentimental politics is not proper in this kind of problem we're in in Nigeria where we need a better Nigeria oh. where they have to be yeah. unity. <laughs> they have to be okay. unity in the country. It's okay. not allowed. Okay. And, and right. let me tell you one thing. Okay. For the first time. You have to minutes to wind up. Your candidate. No, no, no. I have a lot to say. Let me just say, right. say it once and for all. Let me say it once and for all. Let me say it once and for all. But please, I'm happy about something. Why am I happy? Out of the three candidates, for the first time, I'm so happy because any of them that win, except for Emilio Kort, APC, I'm very confident that Nigeria is going to go to higher heights because we have people coming that know what they're going to do. People that know Nigeria problem. People that are not going to sleep like a Milokon when he's elected as president. We cannot suffer another proxy president anymore again because we have suffered. If you come down to the north here, I can travel from Mina to Abuja. Last week, they were kidnapping on the road. What is this country turning into? I can't even go 80 something kilometers or 90 kilometers away from Abuja to go and see either my loved ones. I can't travel again. Even it came to a point in time that even in Abuja here, we're afraid for our children going to school because they'll be kidnapped. Even in our house, some days ago, my phone was snatched. People are hungry, the poverty level. And let me tell you something again. People are forgetting something. The issue of this narrow design, as much as the Buhari is not the only person making decision, let me tell you people something here again. This decision was made by National Council of Security to it, that enough of this kidnapping, enough of what is happening, let them redesign the Naira because the, the militants were collecting money. It came to a point that even the, the bandits in the bush were, they have teller that counts money they, to ensure that the money you bring is complete. You know the kind of money they have inside the bush? So if we are being affected by this, then I'm suffering. But things are already taking shape. The digital currency is taking shape. People have learned how to use either transfer or something. Is is a price you have to pay. Okay, Victor, Victor. Thank you. How much to say? You have more. We'll get back to you. But let, we've heard you. So if I hear you right, you uh, told me to you talk about you your candidates. Is experienced. You think Atiku Alaji Atiku Atubaka is experienced? He should be the one to do this. And then you also think that uh, APC made a tactical mistake by choosing a Muslim Muslim ticket, and that's your position. Fantastic. So now let's go to uh, the the Emilio Kono himself. <laughs> let's go to. I'm, I I like to say that I want to thank. Um, um, uh, Ismail, uh, for doing this, he actually signed up for Instagram just because of this live show. It was because of this live show that he signed up on Instagram. So, um, um, uh, Ismail, why should we, you've heard all that Victor has said, why should people, why are you voting for, not just voting, you are campaigning, actively think that is the solution to Nigerians' problems now. So why should we go with it? And we are waiting, we are still waiting for our obedience to join. I don't know whether he's having an issue with his network. I told one of my colleagues to try to reach him. We can also try to reach him. Hey, so that because we have our obedience are vocal, let them come, let them come and talk to us. Let's hear what they have to say. So uh Ismaila, why? Why? All right, thank you uh, very much. My dog, hope you can hear me. You can hear you loud like and clear. All right. Loud and clear. Uh, beautiful. All right, thank you so much. I really appreciate this uh, forum that where we can actually talk all what we've been chatting, you know. Uh, <laughs> we can actually, yes, and all that. Uh, first of all, I, let me talk to my friend and brother, Victor. You should please calm down. You should calm down. Because your robots, we do say something. That is when you are crying. Don't cry with your eyes closed. Okay, you can cry with one closed. But don't cry with both, both eyes closed. Otherwise, you will still miss the road and you will still fall into the foot, you will still fall further into the pit. You won't see your way out. Why this discussion came up is to discuss about why our candidates is the best for the country now. In all what Victor has said, I think it's only two things that has to do. It's PAT. Every other thing he has been talking about 
for God's sake. Anyway, um, I would like to focus, as I've always been doing, on my candidate, Ashwaju Bola Ahmed Abraham Tinumbu. I know he was Abraham. That's good. I've learned that one today. He said, Abraham, uh, uh, what's his name? Pa, what's his name? Uh, how CCG gave him that name from years back. He gave him that name as Abraham. So Ashwaju Bola Ahmed Tinumbu Abraham, why is he best candidate right now of course my my good friend talked about the experience everybody has experience okay i think we we, we are talking about the the the, the four leading candidates bola agmet you know uh tiku abubaka pita obi kwankwazo <clears throat> they all had public offices so we cannot say that they don't have experience all right but we are saying that who is the best who has the best option? All of them were in public office, like I said. If you said I will build roads, they all build roads. But we are talking about lasting legacies. What we can still point out about them when they have left office, that we can point out to, to say that, oh, you are the best. All candidates are good, but one will be the best. And that is Ashwaji Bola Ahmed Tinubu. Why? I have a 10 point that I do use, that I do share with people, which has never been faulted. When we talk about capacity, which is number one, capacity is about people that surround you, people that you use to achieve things where you are in your office and where they are presently in the scheme of things. He was a former governor. Yes, for good eight years. It's an achievement. I won't insult any candidate. I tell you that uh, freely. I don't insult any candidate. I don't look down on any candidate because all of them, for one, as I am today in my 40s, I cannot achieve what they have achieved. So why will I want to like hate them or something talk about them? No. It is about them, what they have done, what I can see, what I can hear. Okay? So, so it's nothing personal. It is about our country. When you are talking about the capacity, people that surround you, people that you have built, in today's Nigeria, talking about people Bola Ahmed Tinubu has built, they are numerous. Starting from okay. number, two, number two. Number okay. two. Okay. Uh, uh, number two. Then the capacity also has under it the party where you belong. Okay, number two. Your capability, okay? Yeah. okay? Capability is about your ability to do something. When you see a problem, how did you resolve it, and how has it lasted? All states, Anambra too, had problem of um, erosion, uh, what is it called, Where, um, refuse dump and all that. This was very peculiar in Lagos in 1999, if you remember very well. Heaps of refuse everywhere. But what the ball like Medinubu do as per capacity. He brought Lasma. He brought Loma. Loma is still existing today. Where is the one that any other candidate built that is existing today, that is giving people jobs? He brought Loma when Lagos was so rowdy. You can imagine, as people talk bad as Lasma as they are, can you imagine Lagos without Lasma? Lagos would just be with the police and yellow fever. Or traffic <laughs> Sorry, is it allowed? I can talk like that. So this is what we are talking about. Okay. He brought number three. Yeah. Number two. GRC I... is another thing. Many many governors they will buy buses for people. Hey, thanks for you know there and there they will be doing empowerment. They say they are giving their buses. Like that. Where are the buses today? Where did you see them? BRT is still in Lagos today. Where do you see more very much in Lagos today? These are what we are talking about. Okay. Office, okay, number three, don't let me wait. No, being principled. No. Okay. okay, being principled. The other time I was saying integrity, and on our follow, uh, on our follow, many people were laughing that ah, integrity, uh, that the AKI say that nobody has integrity. Okay, that's why I don't want to, but let me use being principled. Being principled is being a loyal party member. From 1999, it was in the Alliance of Democracy. Afterwards, it collapsed the structure to what? to bring in other members from other political parties. They came together and formed ACN. 
We, okay. We can. Okay, so you are met, met, metamorphosed well, again. They went to the AC Alliance for uh, AC by by collapsing the structure to bring in other people. Afterwards, he brought in other people again. They collapsed the structure to form APC. He will never jump ship. It's not like my, my dear brother here that's been from uh, PDP to APC now PDP again. I don't know whether I'll be in labor tomorrow. You know, that is. You don't, you don't, you don't, you have no, you, you, uh, you, you have no principle. That is just it. Uh, no, uh, <laughs> let me just finish. Okay. Then having a vision, <laughs> who has the best vision? In Lagos today, I've been sharing videos on our forum where people of respite are attesting to it that yes, there was a blueprint that this guy called us together to come and form. Even the offending very people in Ibadan, I just shared it on Princeton. They talked about when they invited them to Ibadan to come and have our lower blueprint. He went there, he took it and incorporated it. That is why Lagos is as it is. That's why we have okay. the, 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 okay. the Princeton so, zone, uh, uh, we have the Lekki distance, and all those kind of things. Smiler. Lasting legacy. And I will also ask, well, um, we are waiting for our obedience to join. I don't know why yeah. any of you will be able to join. So you, you, you have these antecedents and all these things. I, I, I think it, it, some of the things you are sharing, they are, they are things that are verifiable. You have shared, you have said that. But one of the Thank things so that yeah. people are saying, one of the issue of his health, this issue of religion, what do you have to say to that? Okay. Um, I don't know. Because I still have a lot. Because I have a 10 point. To <laughs> <actually> <laughs> <tell> my <laughs> so uh, let me put it aside. Now, when we are talking about is it health? You mentioned yes, health, it's health, right? Health. <laughs> Whatever about his health, this man is in his 70s. You don't expect it to be like a man of his 60s or of his 50s. Okay? So whatever we have seen of him as by his health, it's not controversial now. What has happened? No, tell me. What? The hand was shaking, something, something, something. That was... That was only one time. And why did that happen? Was well, during the primaries. For five good days, this man was not sleeping. From one meeting to the other, from one state to the other. Campaigning here, here and there. Down to the night, you know how, how, how it is during these primaries. They don't sleep. So that, that was why his hand was shaking. After that time, have you seen his hand shake anywhere? No. What of the mistakes? And after today... Today, a, let me just he is the most traveled candidate. He taught all the 36 states of this federation and FTG Abuja. Not just, just going for, 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 for rallies. Power meetings. He was one that initiated and pioneered it before other people, other candidates started stealing it and started doing the idea. So in the state, he would do at least two or three meetings. Two or three more or less rallies. In each state, everywhere, and it did not miss. It was only one, I think, the Oyo State rally that was postponed. Why did what they postpone the it? Because of the, 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 the mistakes. What do you have to say to those ones? The other no, 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 no. You, you, uh, I've defended health. You mentioned something again. Oh, yes. Health, verbal, still on health. The verbal mistakes. Some people might say that the, that's okay, the, the, the gap. Yes. yes, you see, the the gap that he had, everybody had gap. Atiku Abubaka had gap. Peter Obi had. Gas. Everybody, I have those videos, but you know me, like I said, I focus on promoting my candidate. So I don't go and say, ah, Peter will be said this, Kiliko, Kiliko. Ah, Tiku said, no, 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 no. To me, that is childish. We shouldn't yeah. be going that way. Let's sell our candidate. Let's put our country first before trying to make jokes or I, trying I to demarcate. I have a lot to sell us. So about the gaps, there is no, if, if you, if you are a public speaker now, Ega, when you started, tell me that you've not made gaps before. It happens. It's about public speaking. When you are doing public speaking, one or two gaps will come in. It is natural. And being the most visible candidate, he will have the most gaps. So he goes to Paris Paso, someone that went to the 36 stakes, having three, four meetings in each stakes. That's over a hundred rallies or, or town hall meetings. I don't expect to have like 20 gaps compared to somebody that they not so all these states. They have maybe what like a few. You are, you, are, you are defending it. So what of the okay. religion? The religion issue. The religion thing. Okay, the religion thing. Bola Metinumbu himself has spoken about that. 
All right? And I don't know why we are still going that way in this Nigeria that we are talking about. We shouldn't be talking about religion or uh, something. Okay? Bola Ahmed Inumbu is a Muslim from the south. Politically in Nigeria, the calculation is a minority Muslim. I am a Muslim and I know it. The majority of the Muslims in Nigeria are from the north. This is the first time they hear. So he, is a, he is a minority Muslim minority. from the south Nigeria. Christians in Nigeria are in the majority in the south. That is it automatically. So how do you expect him? Because, because the power is now shifting to the south, vice automatically is going to the north. So how do you expect him to go and pick a minority religious person from the north where we have majority as Muslims? It will be okay. like a minority, minority ticket. It will not sell. The ticket we will lose. Okay, so most likely. So you, uh, it you will be a very a hard sell. Calculation, uh, that it is a that, political calculation. And you think yes, that the, it is a political calculus, calculation. The, the vote that it stands to lose from the... If Christians also Christians in the South also think like that, the vote that it stands to lose, they don't matter too much to you. <laughs> Majority of the vote comes from the north. That is okay. It. Okay, we I are, can see we are waiting. A for minority. People. When it comes politically in the southern Nigeria, we are minority. That is just the truth. I, I, if we are, we are to go that way, way of religion. Okay, wait, wait, if we wait, are to go the way of continue. religion, this all right. Wait, wait, before we continue, we are waiting for A and A no join. I don't know why he has not been able to join. But I see that Bash has joined. But uh, I, I spoke with A yesterday and obedient. Bash, will you speak for obedience? Should I add you so you can you can tell us why people should vote for uh, why people should do obedience uh, should be obedient at this time? Why you are considering it? Let's uh, Victor, you wanted to uh, respond to some okay. of the things. Uh, that, uh, um, you know, I said something earlier here, eh? and I think my personal interest is even least of uh, national interest. As much as I'm greedy, I also have to consider national interest. My joy is that uh, out of these three, in fact, let me remove, I'll keep on removing Emilokon up to now. My reasons, God owns health and owns all that thing. I won't talk about his health. But the truth of the matter is that either labor or PDP, I'll be very happy. If you leave the shores of this country, I think you wish well for our children. It's time for us to, um, to be very serious with our life in Nigeria. Why are we living in the country? What is happening? Why are we still electing leaders that don't have the capacity and don't have our interests at hand? We have recycled these old people. If Atiku loses, no problem. If Obi wins, I think I will do better because I think it's time for professional to thrive in Nigeria and for things to get right. We might suffer the few years. The only problem I have with Obi winning is he is a wonderful candidate that will do Nigeria well, but the system is still faulty, and there's a lot of Nigerians that are richer than Nigeria that got to make his government do, frustrate his government, do, make sure things don't work, and the masses will still continue suffering. Me, I'm looking at the aspect that people are suffering now, jumping into another suffering boss again. That is for Peter Obi. He will do well, but he's going to struggle a lot. Now, we need somebody that can still take us from that boss that is contaminated to try to fix it, then I'm looking at, in fact, in 2020, what was the next election? After 2027, young Nigerians can even come and challenge that people again. I will also look at options. Let me take you back. In my locality, there was a House of Rep member that we put on board. The guy promised us everyone is going to treat us well, you will treat the people well, everything. The guy got there and forget, forgot everybody. Two and a half years ago, yeah, we I told him that. You know. Two no, okay. I'm just, I'm just trying to open up points for you to understand. I'm trying to open up points. Focus on why this thing. No, no, you are talking about. You are, you are going way, way, way off point. Sorry to. Okay. Okay. About, if we continue okay. like this, we will okay. not leave this place. Okay. Okay. Let right. me come back again. Let's Let talk me come about back our again. candidates. Okay. That's why we are here. Bola, <laughs> you are talking about Atiku. I think oh, you are talking about the capacity. Okay. Yeah, okay. Let's, let's, maybe we should take it one after the other. You are saying okay. that Atiku has the capacity. I've, what is I've, capacity? I've said Tell it. that capacity. 
Who are the people? Is, that let me tell you something that you don't understand. Atuku has All been right. tested as a vice president of Federal Republic of Nigeria. He has what got the experience. Result? He has worked with various so, levels. Let's take it one of, by one. That's what I'm trying to say. He no, has the capacity. His result. Okay. What was his result? Obviously, he was Wait, the vice president. He has the president about, that he has to be loyal to. And that's what I'm trying to tell you. Saying that, uh, capacity is about people that surround you, people that work with you, and where are they to stay? That's what it. I want to tell you. Uh, that he was chairman, this he was chairman, that was that is experience. But that he has the capacity. Oh yeah, where are they? Where are the people that were in the VP's office as are today? Where are they? And what are they even saying about him? That is it. Uh, I that want is, you to it. understand. So if you are talking about experience now, now let's go to experience. Capacity, he does not have it as much as Bola admits in Ubu. That is established. Now experience. Oh yeah. Talk about your experience that he has. Yeah, so, you want me to start? I can so, start. So, Bola Ahmed uh, Tinubu has more experience than uh, Atiku. I can say so. So, you let us know. Uh, what, you type of, what type of experience? All right. Thank you very much. As of 1992, <clears throat> Bola Ahmed Tinubu was the senator of the Federal Republic of East Nigeria. He was something, he was, I think, was in, his, in his 40s. He was chairman, Senate Committee on Banking and Finance. He had that experience. He came down to Lagos. He governed Lagos for eight good years. These are elective positions. They are not appointed positions. When you are talking of experience, he now took the country, his party, from one state of Lagos. He took it to the seat of power in Abuja. Everybody, maybe more one or two, or, uh, I don't know who is or guys, who can, who we can say is or guys, maybe Buhari. They've been saying good about him. All right. So let me leave it at that. Tell us about your president, your your candidate, his experience. I, I I think I don't need to, to even tell you who Atiku Abokar is, or let's maybe you are not in the country when he was the VP of this country, Please. and the kind of people he worked with. Well, he was a vice president. There's something I need to tell you about being a VP to somebody and what the role he played. Knowing the kind of person Oba Sanjo was, he has to be, he, in fact, you have little experience or you're in Ogun State, you know the kind of person Oba Sanjo is. Obviously, Atiku was the vice president of um, Oba Sanjo. You know the reason what happened when he was about seeking for a second term? Do you know what happened? The kind of chaos, the kind of problem and the kind of uh, investigation, the kind of uh, witch hunting that Obasanjo was doing, that even the House of Rep, the Senate, were against his, some of his policies. Do you know the kind of governors were against him? Are you aware of how the form they bought for Atiku and how it was abolished for Atiku now to go for second term so that they would drop us Obasanjo? Do you know who initially bought that form? Do you know the governor that bought that form? So let me tell you something. Atuku might be a vice president. As a head boy, your head boy and your deputy head boy, you have to listen to your head boy. You can't override him because it's like you want to assign him. He was a loyal servant. You don't know what he was going through while he was in Villa. He was trying to ensure that things work well, but the principal never trusted him because of some certain reason. There are some reasons that is not well known to us outside here. And for you to see your vice misbehaving or something, he has support. And for him to have support of the governors, that means the governors loved what he was doing while he was a VP. Now, what I want to tell you, I don't want to go into details of our passenger. We know the kind of person he is as a person. You don't need to be told. And for somebody to be running as either president or as councillor since 1992, and yeah, you say he doesn't have experience, he doesn't have the intellectual capacity, he doesn't have the capacity to rule Nigeria. Experience. Victor, please get me right, right. I never said he doesn't have the experience. I never said he doesn't have the intellectual capacity to rule Nigeria. But somebody has it better, far better than him. That is what I'm Who saying. Is far better than him. Somebody was what what public office has Atiku ever held? He was he was elected governor in 1999 before he was made uh, the VP. That is the only election he ever stood and won. 
I'm so happy that Labour Party is coming on board. Then you tell me the kind of political office that Labour Party has held before becoming a governor. Republic of Nigeria. So how can you compare that experience of Bola Smith that has been a Senate since 1990? That fought military. You forgetting that he was in Nadeko. Where was your article all that time? He came still. He became the governor. From there, he made men. He went where. Okay, so I think. Um, well, I think our, our guests have gone away. The the video ended, but the the key point we wanted to make uh, was that it doesn't matter uh, what is happening in the political season. Now, oh, okay, they are joining back. Okay, fantastic, fantastic. Yeah, let's join back. Let's continue. Uh, we are coming, going like again. Sorry, a call came in and cut my connection. Right. Hello. Sorry. I, 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 okay. No, no problem. Maybe it's the military network that is cutting yeah, it off. They're jamming, yeah, they're jamming yeah, our discussion. Yeah. What, Fantastic. What? And, 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 and this guy was moving stuff. I hope he will join back. Uh, but, the, but the interesting thing is that this discussion, the, the, the way they did, and, and that's why I said we should do this. The, the civil nature of that discussion that we should we, this thing doesn't have to be we can we can remain friends support yeah. different candidates of course. And, yeah, and, and still course. discuss the issues Joyce, welcome yeah, back. Sure, 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 sure. yeah sure thank you welcome back and i can say i, I hope ismaila will join back because yeah. he's really really passionate and, and moving stuff about well, let, his candidate let to be moving because it's like um for me <laughs> APC can say whatever they want to say because the truth of the matter is that they they are finding it very difficult selling whatever they are selling right now because it's like they promise that it's normal in politics. They promised Nigeria so many things that they know they couldn't achieve. Hmm. They they sold Nigeria. In fact, they sold so many promises that they never fulfilled at all and deceived Nigeria in 2015. What I want to say here in summary. They can never deceive us again. They don't know what to use anymore again. Enough of all these are games. People have suffered. The grassroots politicians, the grassroots elect people voting are aware of all their games. Money is not going to help them this time around. As far as we are suffering with the Nera design, they are they have the cash, but they don't have enough cash to bribe their way through. I think Buhari is doing a good job. We're all suffering what is happening right now, but just a little while, we'll get it off. But the truth of the matter is that this time around, I think the people that will go to presidency, National Assembly, uh, senators are going to be intellectual people that will take the country to greater because there is a bit of sanity coming to place right now. I feel it. And I can see it. And I see a future after 2027. 2027 election is not going to be a very funny election. We are getting there gradually. And we will get there peacefully. I want to say here again, enough of a proxy president. We don't want it. Ismaila can come here to tell me anything about his candidate or whatever. The truth of the matter is that we don't want a proxy president anymore again. He should say, he should sell his, he can sell whoever. In fact, first time I'm hearing a minority Muslim. I've never heard that word before. A Muslim is a Muslim. A Muslim is a Muslim. There is nothing like minority Muslim here. In fact, that is the first time. If he says this and in order now, yes, ah, a minority Muslim, ah, I, he, that thing needs to be defined. Everybody can say it. And, and, and let me say it again. If Atiku doesn't win, another person I pray to win is Labour Party. But God will help him. That's what I have to say. All right, all right, fantastic. We are we, yeah. we're waiting for our obedience, but I don't know for what for reason. I don't know if there's any obedience here that is that you know you have been provoked by all the things you have heard, <laughs> and you want to say. Ah, ah. Although Victor has said a little bit. Uh, for the obedient movement that he had, even though it's for um, I like the but he still thinks that even if he comes in, uh, so maybe a little bit of the obedient obedient bug yep. has beaten him. It's my life yep. all for uh, the Milokon, his antecedents. But you yep. know, like some people are saying, uh, all the issues that um, 
the challenges that the nation is facing now, it will be difficult for, from, from what you have said to us, um, uh, Ismaila, that um, Ashwaju was part and parcel of the power of the government now in power, that in fact is, for, if I hear you say that he's, he's a prime mover in making it happen, is it, is it going to be, is it not disingenuous for us to try to dissociate him from what is now happening to the nation. We all agree, Guto has said he cannot move from um, Abuja to Mina. Uh, you know what is happening as far as security is concerned. Yep. This cashless uh, yep. action that has been unleashed yep. on the people. Uh, it's all Ashwaju's party. All right, uh, can I come in? Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, it's on, <laughs> it's on top. All right, uh, thank you. Okay, um, what did you, what? was the first one that um Ashwaju is part of uh, this uh because he was the prime mover of this government that we cannot dissociate him from it yeah right okay yeah well to some extent you see the party forms the government <clears throat> but the government does not have to be the party the go <laughs> government has to be a good government has to be a conjoint of all political interests. <laughs> Look, why is uh, okay? <clears throat> Ashwaji Bala oh. met Numbu, prime mover. He got Buhari to Aso Rock. And out of the minister, 36 state ministers, some came to him that make recommendations, and he did. When you buy a goat for somebody, <laughs> you give him the goat and the rope. He should lead it to wherever he wants to lead it to. That is it. You don't expect Tinumbu to be dictating for Buhari how to go. Tinumbu gave Buhari the first, uh, this what is it, Kemi, I shared a video today talking about how they were running the government initially before she had to leave because of her NYC certificate of it. If you look at that time and the time of Zainab now, that Buhari brought himself, you will actually is that Kemi's time was far, far better. This, this is what we are talking about. Hmm. Uh, Tinumbu gave him Fashola. We, we've seen infrastructure here up and down. Talking about debt or no debt is another thing entirely. But we are seeing things happening. We have seen a very, very loyal vice. Tinumbu knew that this vice of a guy, or Shibajo, was his Justice Minister in the uh, Justice Commissioner in Lagos, that like, yes, this guy will be a very, very loyal person to Buhari. He gave as Oshiba go failed him. So okay, no, let me, what we are let talking me ask, about. Some, government some has, no, why, wait, why, government why, has to be separated. Why did he, from the why party. Did he just give Oshiba Jo? Oshiba Jo has all these qualities that you have said. Why didn't we just we ask Oshiba Jo? Going somewhere else again. No, no, no. <laughs> we had some other questions before. After. No, I don't want us to lose track. I don't want us to lose track okay. okay okay i'm talking about uh, this thing now what are we talking about How, about government government and the party that we have to separate it and tinumbu has never shied away from criticizing the government at some time you remember the time of answers he didn't sit down and say that ah he came out he spoke with people that they should yes you are hungry i'm hungry too but let it be with decorum he came out and he spoke when boko alam of it since um, his was getting so much, he came out and talked now. That was the time he said that he uh, employ people into the army, he, 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 um, take from their, from, their, from their base. He came out, he spoke. Which other candidate spoke that time? And he was in the patio. People were like, like he's, he's, he's against Buhari. But no, let's separate governance from party. And that is how it should be. If you see something going wrong, so you should speak, and this guy has been speaking. So, in a nutshell, that is it. You have to dissociate him, just like this currency of a thing. He came out and spoke against this. Now, he was here in Abeokuta that he spoke against it. That, yes, your policy is good, but your implementation is very, very wrong. And the proper solutions to how to, how to go about it that is what we are saying. You can't because that I made you something. I will not be dictating to you what to do. That's Godfatherism, no? more or less, that we are talking about, that we should, we should, we should not go for. So, so yeah, that is it about that. He is against uh, Godfatherism. He cannot be dictating uh, or how, to, how, they, how they should run their government. He's not, 
is it against God for that reason? What's happening in Lagos? What that is not God. Not be God for that reason. Look, everybody wants to be a godfather. Let me just ask <laughs> that is we have a mother. Yes, even to your children, wouldn't you want to? Wouldn't you want to see the way they will go? It I will like, either be for like, good like. or bad. Godfatherism is not bad. Even the film Godfather, I don't know if you have watched it. Will you say uh, Michael or Michael's father, Colon, was a bad was a bad godfather? So Godfatherism is not a bad. Take it the way the way the way you now chat. Okay. It's unfortunate. We all want to. We be godfather i want to be a godfather i want to see people that have risen that yes i can sit back and say that i'm the one that made this i'm the one that did that i can be proud and talk about them there's nothing wrong with that what was the other question you were asking sorry um, Ooh, uh, mixing up. about security like... about security why you cannot uh, move from mina to abuja victor i'm very very sorry no, about no need to be sorry it's I am not everybody. happy about it. Yes, mm. I'm not happy about it myself. Mm. I would have loved. I love road travels. I was in ABU for some time, from Ibadan, from Abia Kuta. Yeah, I'll get to Ibadan from Ibadan to Mina to Jeningo, Kotangoa, and all that. That's how we used to go in those days. I used to enjoy it, but now I cannot try. You understand? But as bad as it may, you cannot see Bola Ahmed in whose hand is in it. Leave that at the doorstep of Buari. And if you remember, by the very first time when we were talking uh, on, on our forum, I talked about this. I said it's because of the people that Buhari surrounded himself with. His king's men. This gave those Boko Haram and insurgents guys some sense of belonging that Omawalo uh, Ambe, uh, Minister of Finance, is our child, uh, Defense, Air Force, Police, Navy. They are all our people. We can do anyhow. And somehow, to some extent, those soldiers, whether you like it or not, in Nigeria today, we have more of northern people in the armed forces. They can't just go about and be killing these people. It will be hard for them. So they are kind of having, kind of, you know, tolerating okay. them. That look, just take it easy. Uh, that is what let... made this thing to escalate. Uh, okay. You cannot say it's Bola Ahmed okay. Tinubu for okay. that. Um, okay, let's separate it. Okay, so final, uh, final word. Which, one minute. Which other thing? Final, final word. Final, one more minute. Final word, I will say. Final word I've said, APC has failed Nigeria. <laughs> Nigerians are tired of APC. Their promises, they have failed. Their renew hope won't work. Thirdly, the last thing I want to say here, the narrow design, in our forum, somebody was saying that Victor it seems you're enjoying what you're enjoying. I'm working very closely with somebody that has a retail store. When the redesign started, the sales went down. But gradually, it picked up. What was happening? All the POS from all the banks were not working. Money Point was the most active POS. People said switching to using digital currency, paying by e-transfer or Money Point. The sales, in fact, the sales we have been having, my friend has been having, has increased seriously. People have said embracing that change. Now, what was the reason for the re resign? Security Council, far back June, July, they had problems. How do you solve this problem? These bandits are collecting money heavily, becomes a source of a, a concern to federal government because they are paying this ransom. The train issue, the kids, the Boko Haram people, the bandits, all saying they need money, cash. Ah, 100,000, 100, 100, notes, 500 notes. Definitely, because if you need to move 200 and you need billion van to go to the bush to give them money. Now, Security Council advised Buhari that, okay, these guys are collecting too much money. In fact, there's some money they collect. They don't even want the Nigerians to know because why? APC has failed Nigerians because you promise security. You promise Nigerians are going to have wonderful security. Okay. Good luck okay. is a wicked okay. man. He didn't try. Now, you. what you promise Nigerians, you are not delivering to your promises. Even the security is even worse. I know there was bombing that era, but this time of kidnapping, banditry, your neighbors, everything, everybody is collecting money. Even people forming fake kidnapping, collecting cash. That redesign okay. has to come because so many money are gone outside. Eh? And they need to mob those money back. Then let me jump that side. Food, 
and fast. Nigerians are forgotten so fast, though. They say Buhari, even a woman, a man can meet his wife, they say Buhari. He can't eat food, they say Buhari. He can't do everything, Buhari. Buhari released so much money, palliative, for governors to give the poor masses, these wicked people, kept those things inside the warehouses, saying that there is second phase of COVID. The people started loading the warehouse, hungry people. They want to kill people. Buhari told them that you should give local government autonomy. These same people are stealing money. They don't want people, poor masses, to enjoy what is happening. These same governors. These same governors crying that hey, hey, they redesign is bad because they have so much Nigerian notes in their houses and they are feeling that they want to buy a vote. It can't work. APC has failed. And they will okay, continue to fail. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Ismaila, your final words. Before yeah, my, 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 my good brother, Victor, uh, please. Now, I keep saying that if you please calm down. <laughs> now we are changing yes we are changing government buari is not coming Abba. back yes buari is not coming back bola met you know who, by the grace of almighty god who will become the president of this nigeria and we have seen what he has done in lagos we have seen his blueprint we have seen his manifesto we have seen people talking about his policies that has worked what more do we want we just have to have that hope renewed. Talking about some things that you are complaining about, like LG autonomy. Well, it has nothing to do with Bola Admet. But I'm telling you, one person that has championed that has fought this is Bola Admet Inumbu by creating 53 other local governments from the existing one in, in Lagos State. So it is sure local government autonomy is something he will do. You are talking about SR people, governor looking, da, 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 da. I'm happy you didn't mention Tinumbu about it. Okay, whatever happened about it, we are kind of uh, di digressing. Now you are talking about your friend, that uh, retail store, is they having more sales. Why is he having more sales? It's because there's less competition. People don't have money, so they are forced to use their card. That's why they are going there. And again, let me repeat to you, let me turn it into your head. Mabinu, that I said that. You are my good friend. We are not against uh, naira design and all that implementation repeat implementation is what we are against okay, okay, and okay. UK today is changing currency they run old and new run side by side and they will change it implementation is what we are talking about renewed up will okay. work because the president okay. is going to add the government now inshallah by the grace of god bola better do boo has run it and we have seen it okay thank, thank you. you thank you smiler we try to get one of many of the a number of the obedience to come and speak but uh they i hope they have their pvc because this one I did not, yeah, they, 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 they have not they have nothing to say they have no structure they keep forgetting you see let me just talk about obedience my obedient brothers you know i mean i don't even talk about that obedience. like i okay. said so I focus on my candidate. but they do ask me some questions okay okay we wait, are wait, 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 a democracy okay. Where Back is the structure? Speech. Where are his governors? Where are his senators? Where are his house of bread? We are not running a, a, a military government. <laughs> Bash can talk. Now. Where is he? I've not seen his video. I've been one of his, his nieces with him. It is <laughs> niece with him. I can't, I can't. <laughs> so these are the questions till they come. These are the questions they should yeah, ask. Speak for for where are the people? people? Where is his team? Where are the people that are going to work with him? Where is his blueprint for God's sake? If he becomes the president today, how is he going to run Nigeria? How? How will he control the Senate, the House of Reps, even down to the governor? This country will just go up in flames. He cannot do it. Many of the problems that we are having today, agitations and all that, many of the people that are responsible for it, them Tompolo, them uh, the, uh, Bakari, what was his name, and some other ones, they are all partially people admit in Umbu. So it is sure that this guy is going to hit the ground running. How does Obi want to talk to you? Bash is coming in. Eh? He's coming As in. As of today, 70%, just Bash might be known, 70% of elective offices has no candidate from the Labour Party. 70%. Check the record. Pulling, uh, pulling uh, representatives. As of today, I think they said they have like about 50,000. And you require 180,000 people. How are you going to protect your votes for God's sake? I don't get it. People are not looking beyond their nose. This is just the truth. 
One man cannot run the country. You cannot run a democracy. It's not possible. A man can run a local government or a council law. Fine. You are all in the same tribe on the same way. But not an ethno, ethno country like ours. We have over 250 ethnic groups. How for God's sake? Bash, you come back. Sorry. We need to sound the truth to ourselves. Who are going to be in the cabinet okay, of the parliamentary He can never do the ground running. We are tired of time wasting. Okay. Let's have a visionary leader. Can do. Let's have Bash. Let's have Bash. Bash, I'm Bash. Sorry, come back. Hey, you are coming. Bash, come in, please. Where is he? Bash, come in. No. Bash. Bash, please come in. Oh, sorry. Yeah, Bash, come in, come in, come in, come in. I'm, I'm also talking of experience. We're waiting for Bash. Don't worry. Continue your thing. Let me just be talking to our people to understand. Oh, yeah, Abola, I meant to also have private in. sector experience. No, we, we don't have to sound this because we should not waste our votes. You see, it is important for everybody to vote and vote rightly. Look, in my when I was in university, I was president of my department. If I was vice president, then I became president. You see, the experience I had then, I had more votes than the president said when I was when I was the vice president. Why? Because it was the way I vibrated during the manifesto. I told them what I was to do. I so you have told them for deeply. Yes. You have been for a long so time. you see, some people that did not want to vote, they just came that day and was like, Bakari, where's your name? They just voted Bakari. I said, I ah, know we have president. They are not interested in that. It's because of you and what you say you are going to do that I'm here to vote. I got over fifty percent of the votes of the president when they counted it. When the president got 100, I got a hundred and fifty plus. That gave me a sense of duty. I said of that, that I must not fail. So you see, the more votes we have that you give to this guy, you will have that that ha, ah, I must do well for this country. I must do well for my people. That, that is it. The other day you had Dwari calling the Southeastern as five percent, five percenters. He was speaking the so it was dirty, but it was what it was. Why, bash, why, why, bash, why? Where you, where you, bash, where you? Bash, enter the stream now. I'm trying to add you. Yeah, and I'm accepting it. I'm Maybe I'm the person I'm talking. I'm you saying to an invite. Where is it's still not entry? You are still not entering. So we can hear from obedience. Oh, okay. Are we following you? Sorry, please, let's follow you. We have to follow you. Yes. Okay. We followed you. Now. Victor, I don't know if Victor is still there. Oh. I've also loved to talk. Uh -huh. Bash, can you please send, send the invite again? I've followed you. Just send the invite again. But, but, but I think the key thing for, for all this is for us to know that we are friends. And after this election is over, we'll remain friends. Um, somebody will win. Somebody will lose. Uh, and whoever wins or lose will still do, ask to be president. Uh, the person that wins has to be president for everybody. And we'll criticize him if he doesn't do well. And we will praise him, hopefully. Uh, hopefully, hoping that we do well. Uh, so it, it, it doesn't really, uh, we shouldn't fight ourselves. Uh, see some people fight, some people arm themselves because um, uh, somebody, their candidate won or their candidate uh, lost. Uh, so it, it's, 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 it's that, that's just a key thing. But what's in the apple now? This thing, you know, the entire, uh, would it be nice to have an obedience. Oh, we have just two people in the room, but it's, it's just giving me messages that we can only have three people in the room. Uh, oh, that would be sad if you cannot, if you cannot have Bash. Bash, 
Charlie, you there? See us and talk. Okay, I think he has coming now. <laughs> you are just uh, we are still bantering the same way we do banter on our on our chat. We are doing the banter here. Okay, I think Bash is logging back in. I can see somebody trying to uh, somebody nobody is trying is rolling, rolling, rolling. Let's hope he's in. So let me just remind our people. Be doing your thing, I'm not disturbing you. <laughs> Also, a babola met, you know. Oh, you know, he was. He came the from the public council? sector. Are you in the campaign council? No, I am not. No, you actually, I didn't have the time. You are just an, a, a volunteer. It is a, I it is want the best for my country. Look, there was a picture that we had. I can't remember the year. One reunion like that. Me and uh, Ayoko, we faced each other. We were talking something like that. Seriously, we were talking about it. You know, in Lagos then. Why he was the better candidate? Ayoko was in Lagos civil service. So, not be today. I don't they follow the number. I know the, uh, 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 what is the emergency candidate like your OB that you are talking about. Oh, he got into Labour Party April last year. Maybe some people have forgotten. But, but, but when he lost out to, of the primaries. Let me try to remove you and then I will add you back because I don't know what's happening that Bash cannot join. I will add you back shortly. No, right? Allah. Then let me, let me try to and then I'll add you back. Okay. Uh, Bash, can you try now? I don't know why did, did, um Can you please, Bash, can you send the stuff now? Because we should hear from an obedience let's let's hear from an obedience before we, we wrap up today and then we'll add once once brush has logged in i will be able to add ismail back oh we want me to close the room okay we'll close the room and we'll come back uh shortly okay let's close the room and then we'll, we'll start the live again all right okay Aha! <laughs> it was your face before that was making the camera to be afraid. <laughs> Alright, let's wait for the others to join. And then, Joyce, welcome back. Um, let's add um, our... Let me tell Ismaila we are back. Uh, and then we can wrap up, I guess, in the next few minutes. All right? Yeah, so you, you yeah, will tell yeah. us why we should, why we should, uh, what what has changed, why we should now go with uh, our 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 o, 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 obedience, the obedient movement, and you are you are you have depth and experience with everything, right? Great, great. <laughs> you like like Victor. Victor has been everywhere too. He has been he has been in APC. He has been he has been everywhere. So now let 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 hear somebody tell us why we should go with um... the good. Is I've never, never I've never been a card carrying okay. of any party. Okay, that's interesting. Except labor labor is the only one you have you have called out. Okay, so fantastic. So we we have. We have a good reason why, why we should. Why we should. Okay, so go ahead and tell us why should people. You know, so we've heard the Emilio Cons have told us why we should vote them. The articulated have told us why we should vote them. You're a car carry member of the obedient movement. So why should we? Why should we? Why we should? Why should we go? Why should we go with go with Obi? Tell us. It's 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 very very simple. First and foremost. We all know that you can never continue doing the same thing and expect a different result. That's a given. Anywhere in the world, we know that that's a given. When you've, continued, when you've, when you've gone down the same path for decades and you have never gotten a different result, it just makes it something else. The exact same way that we tried uh, good luck, Jonathan. It didn't work out, and we eased him out. 
APC for eight years has woefully failed. So it's time to ease them out. Peter Obi is not a Messiah. Labour Party is not the is not a God sent party. If they get in there and they do a rubbish job, we boot them out. It's as simple as that. But APC cannot come to us and tell us, bamboozle us, that they are the party to revolt in. No, it's not possible. Now, going back to Peter Obi. Number one, going back to Peter Obi. Okay, I think yeah. this matter is coming back on. Let him. Yeah. <laughs> Ogasa, are you? Okay, so like, as I was saying, as I was saying, number one, since, since you were born, since we were, and I, and most of you are, since we were born, we have always been told that the children are our future. That was over forty years ago. When exactly is that future? Is that future? Peter Obi took education in Accra State, number one in Nigeria. Taking education from 25th, the governor that focused energy on education. To me, in this Nigeria, is an angel. That's the number one point. Number two. All over the state, he gave, gave people pipe on water. He gave them pipe on water in the years that he was there. Pensions were owed for, forever in Anambra State. He sorted that out. He paid salaries regularly on, on time and on time. Created he created agricultural amenities for his people. Built a standard brewery. He supported Innocent 100, 100%. The first indigenous automobile company in Nigeria. Thanks to Peter. That's a reason. First, he supported them to come into play in an ambrast. The healthcare system, he improved it immense, incredibly by building, I don't have the figure, between 10 and 15 modern hospitals and health centers in an ambrast state. All in an ambrast state, a fairly unknown on wealthy states in Nigeria did for this. And when he was leaving, he left billions in their treasury. How many governors can boast of such? And since he has left, he also hasn't taken money from them. How many governors can boast of this? These are just a few reasons why, to me, Peter Obi needs to be given the, the opportunity. They say Labour Party doesn't have a structure. A structure, a structure being built one day. If you are building a house, what, what do you first do? Are you going to buy cement before you buy land? Are you going to buy sand before you buy land? Are you going to buy? Are you going to buy the roofing sheet <coughs> before you buy land? No. It just starts one day. You buy land, you build a foundation. You build, a, you build a house from the ground up, not from up to the ground. Whether, whether we believe that Labour Party does not have a structure, don't have people in the house, in the various houses, that's not, not an issue. But I said, structure starts one day. And it doesn't start from the top. It starts from the bottom up. Thank you. Okay. I think we said enough. And I, I, we, we can have this discussion on and on on and on forever. And different people will come up with their different points why they think OB is a man, why they think uh, uh, Senator Bola Ahmed Tinubu is a man, why they think um, 
article is article. a man. But the important thing is so, that we've been able to have this discussion, we're going to have it in a civil way, we've been able to discuss together without, uh, yeah, with passion. I can see. You know, if we don't have the discussion in a civil way, it should be now, if I see this man, I'm going to rush him. Let me ask. Let me ask. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let me add Victor so that we can. Uh, uh, it's just to show that there can be three friends, four, three different. I'll try to be as much as I can to be neutral. Uh, not, <laughs> not <laughs> in, when they, when you say they, when you say there can be three friends, you have to highlight it properly. There can be three brothers over ten years. But over, and over. We'll be together for another 30 since 1989. Years. So it's <laughs> exactly. So no, no election, no candidates, no anybody yeah. can destroy that. I, 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 so much. It's you important <laughs> to have that background. It's important to have exactly. That. It's that exactly. Exactly. Family see, members. There are family. I know some family that are no fighting. That they are angry. <laughs> that you actually support this person. And even in not not only in a place like Nigeria, a place like. Uh, uh, America. So families are broken up because somebody supports uh, Donald Trump, Trump and another person supports <laughs> uh, Joe Biden. I said, can you? How can you support? I cannot imagine how you can support. We, 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 we need, and that's the beauty of the democratic process, that people should be free. We may not understand it. We may not even support it. It may not make sense to us. But let's, let's, let's give ourselves the opportunity to support whoever we want and not fight ourselves. These elections will come just a few days away, um, and in a few days' time, and the way things are going, in, the, in like one week's time, we start to have an idea of whether uh, uh, our volunteer, Emil is, uh, is is winning, uh, or our articulated is there, or whether we are obedient to and true, and we can start to rejoice and be glad that we our country. Don't do that. <laughs> All right, keep bashing. Thank you so much, Ali. You know, uh, uh, I got the lecturer, so I he can talk from today to tomorrow. It's his it is job, so he, he didn't adopt it. Kigega, well done, sir. Thank you so much, Bash. I really appreciate what you said. Me and you, if you remember, we came to Pego the same day. I was in, you, were in, you came it, uh, earlier, so they gave you F. I came after, that's why I'm in A, yes. because there's no G. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, guy, I heard that for the first time, I think. But, but that was the butter. Have the you? Butter, be back. In fact, <laughs> I remember you were wearing trainers that day. <laughs> as big as you were, yes. he did have a side outside. He was very trainers. I remember very, very well. So, uh, thank you so much, Joe. Yes, since 19, that's why, you know, on the forum, if you see me for one, I focus on just my candidate. I don't attack any other person's candidate. No, that will bring rank up, you know. So, that is that about that. And it's just not about 89. Some of us knew ourselves in primary school. So, you remember that, that some of us knew ourselves in the 80s. Masurat Kodri. It's 1982. I've known Mas 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 like 82. Desko, I've known Desko since like 82. When we were running up and down. And some host of others like that. So, no be today. We will never fight. It will never happen. Right. Not like the other day. So, I hope everybody has their, has their PVC. If you don't have your PVC, you are in jam. Don't yeah, be supporters with um, people. Don't want to have that. Yeah, I don't want to like um, talk to my brother. Uh, bash about uh, what you said about Peter Obi. Yes, like no, no, I said no, earlier, no, no, maybe no, no. Bash has not joined. No, oh, yes. that was now. Allow, allow. No, that's me now. No, I don't want to okay, say that. Okay, I agree okay, with okay. every point that you have said. Speak. That no, 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 oh, yeah, Edgar, no, please wait. Let me just finish now. That yeah, is yeah, about yeah. education, about uh, pipe on water, about paying pension, regular salaries, providing amenities, and all that. That is the primary duty of a governor. Every governor did not did that. You can never say that Shinobu you know, did not do that. But what we are saying that who did it extra and have a, 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 a legacy that is still alive today. You see that what we are talking about? 
Wala has met in Umbu is the one that has it. Yes, so that sir. is that about that. Now, talking about Labour Party not having a structure that um, a house is not built in one day. Good. I like it. That should tell you that, that you should not expect him to win. Let him be consistent with his Labour Party and build towards years to come, not today. As of today, ABC has the house well built and furnished. Labour Party, maybe they are sitting in the foundation or, well, or Intel. That is different between us. Well corrupted, not built. We are, you have said it that you guys, is a, is a, you are taking the step by a day. So these elections, please. Reduce your expectation. You are not winning. <laughs> your house is not habitable <laughs> yet. You are still in foundation or limited level. Okay, you are not even got into decking level at all at all. So reduce your expectations. APC will win by the grace of God. And please don't be antagonistic when we win. Let it is our country. Let us come together. Okay, Bring so ideas when they I don't hold things back. Uh, uh, it's my love. Are you prepared to support uh, obedience if the obedience win? If, or support if they the win? If they win, it is democracy. If they win, yes, I will support them. Fantastic. I will support them, of course. Great. I'm a I'm Democrat to the core. I will do that. to support uh, Emilio Com and articulated if they win. Do we have, we have a choice? We don't have a choice. They've they, they, they been rigging they elections since 1812. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go so again. We don't, have a, don't let don't us go into the nitty gritty of how your candidate became the candidate of the Labour Party. Did this stand election to be the candidate of the Labour Party? So rigging started with you. Don't let me go deep into that. Okay. Fantastic. Thank you so much, everybody. It's been a nice, lovely discussion. Why are you going? Going, Dr. Where are you going? That's right. So they keep to time. Want they always keep to time. We have done this in one and a half hours. We want to do so I just thought maybe it would be time, but we can't continue. There's no what that might be. What's my job? What's my job? If I cannot stay on a, on, a, on, a, on an IG live with Bash, the Great, and Ismaila. Uh, anywhere we go, everywhere we go, we are fine now. Yeah, I want to because when we are having a discussion, you have to have the pros and cons of each of the uh, we of, of now. discussion. We discussion. You know, so, you, uh, you'll be there, you don't join us on time. Uh, We've done that. And now we, that's why we are requesting Okay, yeah, maybe not continue. <laughs> we are, we are continue. Now, so, so Ismail, I was yeah, you are um, talking, you said uh, they've been rigging elections in uh, time in memorial. Yes. You see, it is about like when you want to cook rice, especially your father rice, you have to wash it. You have to change water. You have to change water and water and make it clean. So that's how it is. 1999 to present day. In fact, one kudos that we can give to Buhari is about the electoral process. He has made it better. Okay? So I believe with time, we will keep improving on it. Talking about rigging elections, as per the primaries, as at the Buhari election that kicked out a, a, a sitting president, I think you would say it was fair and fair. And Buhari's second term, it was practically okay too. And by God's grace of God, this one too will be better. In fact, if you look at the political parties, their primaries that they had, APT had the best. I can talk about PDP. They fooled themselves, Atiku fooled them, that power was going to come to the South. On the day of election, they monetized everything. And Atiku won. In fact, that was part of why Obi left them, saying that the party has been monetized and all that. Talking about the Labour Party. No, we have. Talking, no, 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 let me have, finish. Have, talking have, about the Labour Party, Obi did not take part in your primaries. It was more or less imposed. So we can say it was more or less read into it. They still went to court. I don't know how they started them. So, when you are talking about democratic tendencies, the best that we have for now is still APC. That follow the dictates of democracy, transparency. We all watch it live. There was no record, there was nothing. All the contestants, they are still together today. They are nobody, not single one person as the camp. Unlike PDP, that we have Kwan Kwazo that left, that is the NNPP now, that is the fourth candidate. 
your the OB of the Labour Party also left from the PDP. So, so when you are talking about that, it's still the APC. And by the grace of God, looking at how Buhari has been, this election will be free and fair. Yes, sir. Okay. I was saying you were talking about uh, second term yes. of Buhari, the second yes. election. We have diverging views. We have diverging views on that because we have privilege to diverging information. I, I, I would agree with you that the, the second election was free and fair, but we won't even go to that. We won't even go into that. Let's stick, let's stick to this right. election. Let's stick to this election. I said we need to point, point out pros okay. and cons okay. of each of the candidates. I made my point. Oh, Peter, be, and you rightly stated that these are the rules of these are the things that a right, governor right. should yes. do yes. ideally yeah and now you try and um highlight tinumbu as if he has done something special more than any of the other governors which i totally disagree he hasn't done anything better than Can any I say of one? the other governors not about the other yes, governors, sir. but the present contestants that we let's just narrow it to the other contestants that we have. Okay, yes, internal general revenue IGR of the state. Yes, he performed yes, better sir. than I think it's only Obi I'll talk. Okay, Kwakazo was a former governor too. Yeah, he performed better than the rest yeah. of them in IGR. Yeah, okay, in uh, ed education, okay. I think. When we talk about standard of education, Lagos also improved and he introduced free education. Primary schools were all okay. free. Secondary school, I think about the second okay. to the third term, that's when he introduced free YX, free for these guys. That's what I'm talking about, doing extra. Okay. All right? And also, yeah. he built those, those okay. mega schools that we saw, that we are seeing all over in Lagos. Those are lasting Lagos. Get this that we are talking okay. about now. When we talk of healthcare, Anike healthcare was a primary healthcare now. A bit, if I'm correct, he took it up to that mega stature that it was like it is today. You know, no, if if if, if I'm wrong, you of course you are a Lagosian, you've been in Lagos government. If I am wrong, please point it out to me because these are the things I am seeing and yeah. I know. All right, I'm not talking out of anything, talking of transport, transportation. BRT is there. It is lasting. It is a lasting <laughs> legacy. Yeah, your 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 field. It is there till today. What many governors do is to call the unions. They just buy buses, uh, distribute it to them. Federal government who does it a lot. Like when we had uh, the zero buses and the coastal buses in Odogoli, that that they would just spread buses all over the place. In a year or two, everything has died. But no, Tinumbu from his uh, private background. He brought in PP, private public partnership. That is what is sustaining BRT today. You can tell me whether I'm right or wrong. If BRT was to be solely owned by Lagos State Government, they could have finished that place. I want to believe so. The same thing with, with, with Loma. PP, Loma, many of these uh, refuse dumps, uh, refuse trucks are privately owned, if I'm correct. It just gave them the corridor to work on. So these are what we are talking about, the lasting legacy that are still working today. Okay, now I want I want to ask, okay, I want to ask you. You can you can wholeheartedly say that Bolatinumbu has has had a hand in the development of APC in other states. Yes sir, I can. In other states, yes. Okay. Thank you. Can you tell me one one state, one state in Nigeria that has replicated, that has the things you mentioned, BRT, healthcare, education, the mega schools and all that. One of one other APC states that has done what Tino has state. done in Lagos State. Under Alec Beshola, he copied a lot. Okay, okay. What, 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 what like the appointment of a thing and free education in uh -huh. Oshun State. He did that. Then, okay. I mean, I mean if I structure, I structure, 
structure. BRT, okay. Like BRT. If you want to talk of infrastructure, yeah. let me come to um, infrastructure. What, like what? Are you talking about roads? Standard roads? Things like Things like BRT, things like the okay. Mega as that now, zones, when you're talking about BRT, like, we have BRT in Ogun State. We have BRT, rail, the train we have BRT and in Ogun everything. State now. That was copied from Lagos State. Okay. Talking about the okay. uh, roads, standard road, widening of roads, we had it all in the time of no roads are roads are done. The no, roads are done so it is about standard. Like that, so look at look at the Lekki corridor now. It was a two lane of a thing. They made it into I think four or so. So you can't, you can't just say that they just made ordinary mm -hmm. road. They expanded it because of the population that was there. They didn't just patch it up and say, hey, you guys be managing it. And they built, you know. So, like, I said, <laughs> I, like I said, there's no huh? in Nigeria where roads You are, are saying that you point. Some roads no, that's what I'm have, saying. That. You are saying that yeah. you point to yes. APC states that I know. And let's out of it. Let's leave roads I, uh, across Okay. Roads. What else? I've, I've mentioned B, uh, BRT, 89. yes. Loma. Okay. Loma okay, so, was copied, okay. was copied okay. in uh, uh, your state. What's his name? Of, the, of, of blessed memory. Ajimobi. Okay. Um, Ajimobi practiced Loma. Yes. Okay. He did that in your state. Yeah. Okay. But, 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 and, well, okay. Can I yeah, tell I you? What, okay. You think, what, that's one more thing. Okay. The reason yes. I, I asked I ask is because I want you to try and compare. Is there any state from when we were born? Is there any state that you can compare in, with? Those in terms of what? Please? In Nigeria. In terms of anything and uh, everything. If you want to compare anything population, Kano is about more than Lagos State. But what are, are you talking about? Right, re tell me reality, what. In, re in reality or yeah. in the clouds? In reality or in the clouds? In reality. With time. No, I, I, I understand what you're talking about, about the <laughs> sensors of a thing that they've been doctored here and there. But when you see things, look at the APC rally of recent in Kano. Did you see that crowd? Yeah. Yeah. Ah, so yes, you're I, telling I me that there's no population in Kano. If, we, if, if it's not even up was to that, 20 was million. That, was that, was that, that crowd half of the crowd of Ikorodu? Was that crowd half of the crowd of Ikorodu? Look, <laughs> I wouldn't I'm just know. asking. But what I'm just telling you, what I'm telling you is that the crowd that we saw in Kano can be equally compared to the crowd we saw in Lagos. So what I'm saying is Ikorodu, can you compare Ikorodu to Zabongeri uh, in Kano? I think Victor is here. Yeah, where is Victor? Ikorodu to Zabongeri. Zabongeri in Kano. You can't compare that crowd. He doesn't... Well, we are talking of a stadium now. How many people will the stadium take? The, the, the capacity that the stadium can take. What we are talking about is to fill it yes. and beyond. Kano field and beyond. And that's what Lagos I'm, field I'm, I'm, and beyond. So we are not talking about what you trying to say. Okay, uh, okay, okay, okay. No, no, thank you no, no, so much. No, no, let's read this one. The crowd in what about it? I know you have to talk for you. Go to Kano. Go to Kano. Go to Kano. The Kano are more than human beings. In your I'll agenda, go, where I'll 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 when we want to do, <laughs> when you come to contest, or when, when any one of us wants to contest for any elected position, we already know the comp, the the director of media and publicity and engagement <laughs> and advocacy. You are uh, uncontested, then you will go give. Uh, so it's fantastic, it's interesting. I've enjoyed the conversation, I've enjoyed the discussion. And I'm sure everybody that will watch this after now will also en enjoy it. And the key message, like we said at the beginning, is to let people know that elections come, election goes. People will have different reasons for choosing different candidates. Uh, but whoever it is that you support, let's do it with decorum, with respect. And at the end, when somebody has lost, let the winners be magnanimous in victory. And let the people that did not win let them be, be maintain dignity, that. even in there. There's always, a, there's always another that. time. But what you say? I said the losers. Let the losers. Uh, I don't want to lose this out because. <laughs> <laughs> that losers like to play.
somebody. <laughs> the person that wins is called the winner. Hey, you can be called the runner of now. They, 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 did not, did not, uh, win. they did not win at that time. They didn't win at that time. At that time. Next Thank time. you. Well done. I, I, at that time. The was, was at that time. Yes. And I, I pray that uh, I'm sure that uh, oh, yeah, you yeah, yeah. may candidate. Let's stay safe. At this point, at this point because we're allowed for us. <laughs> So we'll have the discussion again. We'll now continue on the group. If you didn't go to Fergo, uh, sorry for you. We congratulate you. No, we'll, we'll come I'll back. We'll come back after the election. To have after the discussion election. and see who won. Thank you so much, everybody. Well, just, just, just four people okay. this morning. We'll, we'll see. We say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Abraham Utochuku. Ismail. Thank you. To Declared. Our team. By, by, thank you. By, by Sunday you. evening. Thank you, Thank you to everybody um, Joyce, Emmanuel, Wise, everyone that has joined in. Uh, thank you so much, guys. God oh, bless. Yeah. Stay oh, safe. Oh, 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 o